What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Zeal Cigars. Today we're going to be talking about some of the best budget cigars out there that's actually connected to Davidoff. And with that said, welcome to the Zeal Cigar Review. Did you like that? That's weird. It was weird. I didn't say all it. next on the Zeal Cigar Somebody Review. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Comment sections will be lit, lit, lit Wait, up with that. Davidoff makes cheap cigars? Davidoff, they don't make cheap cigars. Oh. They make less expensive cigars than their reserve, you know, than their, you know, uh, Davidoff Grand Cru that are 20 something dollars. These cigars at a blind taste test were taste tested next to Davidoff's okay. Grand Cru, and the guy actually preferred this over the Grand Cru. What? Yeah, which is really kind of cool. So, did we do that experiment? We did do that experiment. Unfortunately, you can't see it because YouTube took it down. Oh. But that's okay because we're back to back with these back to backs. And so these are really good cigars. This is the back to back URNY. So we actually had a review of these a long time ago. Again, it was taken down by YouTube. So we're trying to play nice with YouTube on this channel. Now, have you ever had this cigar before? Oh yeah. Yeah, many I've times. had many, I have had many of these. And this is a great go-to everyday cigar. Under seven bucks, to be honest with you. Yeah. So I'll, I'll tell you this much. This is one of those cigars that if you are an everyday smoker or a budget smoker, you have to have in your repertoire. Did I say repertoire right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. But it sounds fancy, and I look fancy. So in order to find out how these cigars taste, you know what we got to do? We got to cut, light, and smoke. The foot blades are kind of elegant. They're kind of artsy, that New York graffiti type thing. If you look at the main bands, the main bands are kind of you know artsy and everything like that. So if you're an art kind of person, you're probably going to like the cigar. <laughs> that was probably the first thing I noticed when I came into the shop and you had those in the first time. Yeah. Was there was a big flag hanging behind it, a white one that had like beautiful artwork on it. it yeah, was it's kind of really, cool. Really eye-catching. Yeah, yeah, really, really eye-catchy. Effortless so, draw on this uh, Robusto Maduro. Same here. It's a very, very good draw. It's very smooth and creamy. Just from the jump, a little bit of like woodsy notes, but some cinnamon, some cinnamon spice in there. A little, well, I guess you call it nutmeg cinnamon. I'm not sure, but uh, okay. It's more of a preferred sm spice, you know. Now, so we know da Davidoff's factory where these come from are actually in Honduras. But you know a little bit more about the blends and everything else like this. This is not necessarily a Nicaraguan cigar. No. This is more Dominican, correct? Yeah, that one is uh, Honduran, from Honduras with Dominican tobacco. Mm -hmm. And then I think it was an Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper, if I remember correctly. Yes, I believe that. I, I believe um, that to be true. Not being a cigar huh, nerd. But it had I'm a not. weird binder. Um, Mexican. Me Mexican San Mexican Andreas. Mexican binder. Yeah. I know, the, I know the flavor it produces is really nice, creamy, bready. Uh, nice little twinge of spice on there, almost like a graham cracker. After that, on the uh, on the finish, as you're just kind of running it through your, their nasal cavity, some cool nuttiness as well. I am smoking the six by sixty. It's my probably my preferred size in this, but the I mean the five by fifty is good, and it actually comes in a seven by seventy as mm -hmm. well. So tell this me a little one, bit about the Nicaragua. So this one's a puro. It's okay. all Nicaraguan, uh, okay. but it is still does come from Honduras. Okay, well it's made in Honduras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but dude, it's both of these are first smoke approved. Um, yeah. This is a really good, creamy, milk chocolatey, nougaty, like light airy, almost like a, almost like a Three Musketeers bar, but like more chocolate, more of a, like a lighter, fluffy milk chocolate okay. than a, than like the nougat that they put in the middle. It's very good. So, what other cigars would you compare this to? Better in the main line, so people can understand. Um, I'd say this is a this is a tad above the medalist by Alec Bradley. Okay. So if you had the Alec Bradley medalist, okay. this would be a little a, a tad stronger, not not necessarily peppery at all. I'd say the peppery as this buttery. Is probably, probably, I probably not as buttery, more okay. nutty and more like a, a, like a baker spice in there as well. Okay. Okay. So a little more complexity. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's along the lines. Uh, probably even a little bit better too, in my personal opinion, the Charter Oak Connecticut or Charter Oak mm. Shade. I'd say this is probably just a, a, sh a shade above that, if you would. Uh, this, this, I would choose this over the shade, if you would, if I'm, if I'm just going going for it. Uh, if I'm just out one day and I'm driving around or if I'm golfing, or which I never golf, but if I'm fishing or shooting, I'd definitely be... Uh, yeah, if you're going. golfing, dude, I need to see this, and I'm getting it on film. Dude, I could drive a ball, bro. I believe that. I believe I, I, believe I, could, I, I could outdrive Straight? you in a heartbeat. You think? 100%. 100%, dude. Now... I did not say something about my golf game, which is important. I have a wicked curve, or slice is what they call it, right? Is that a slice? Depends which direction it goes. It's, it slices this to the right. Is that a slice? Technically, I think that could be a push. Okay. 
I don't know to push or uh, unless you're running or routes. Or, yeah. <laughs> push route. Okay. So uh, I'll say this: my dad would take me and turn me the to aim Complete over here. Opposite way. Not not the opposite, but turn it. I'd say probably about forty five degrees. You know, to to the left, just to hit it straight, because it would curve straight. But I could hit it like almost three hundred yards straight. It was kind of crazy. Almost three hundred. Uh, it's solid 300. Yes, my dad. My dad knows golf better than I do. He, he would just, he would marvel and be like, boy, if you get the ball straight, you could be John Daly. And I'm like, John Daly. Yeah. I'm like, I, don't I don't know who's know. that. I don't, I don't know, know who that that's is. That's the dude I want to be until yeah. I'm like, I, I might want to be John Daly if I'm like 60, 70 years old, but I that's don't want to be John Daly. So, so let me just say that, this. Let me, let me, so let me just say this about this. I mean, the reason I don't go deep into cigars are I enjoy for what what it is, like just the flavor and the taste and the ambiance and the camaraderie, quite frankly. I'm the same way with things I enjoy. Like I enjoy golf for the camaraderie when I did play golf. Mm. Um I yeah, didn't really you're out there just goofing off with your right, buddies, I didn't making fun of them. I didn't really enjoy the game necessarily. And so I don't really enjoy everything that goes in cigars. I know that I should probably more, but to show you how much I don't know about golf or know about the only golfer that I ever re, I ever can remember or recognize is Tiger Woods. One day I was working out in the gym, true story. Uh, there was this guy that wanted to work in with me. He had some guys around him, and he was, he was walking with some guys around him. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And he comes over and goes, would you mind if I work in with you? I'm like, sure. Yeah, that sounds good. And uh, I'm kind of standing off the back. So I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, and I'll be right back. He said, that sounds great. So I go to the bathroom and everything. But as I left, I noticed that everybody in the gym was looking at the guy. Everybody was looking at the guy. And I was like, obviously, this guy's somebody. So I lived in Dublin, Ohio at the time. Uh, it's a huge tournament. I can't remember and the so, classic either. So the, the gym was in Dublin. That's where I lived. And so essentially... I go to the bathroom, I come back, and the guy says, hey, man, I'm, I'm done. Thanks so much for letting me work in. I'm like, hey, no problem, dude. And, uh, I, you know, everyone's watching the guy, and he's got, like, a team of guys walking around with him. And I'm like, so I go up. I'm, I'm getting ready to go, and I go up to the front desk. I'm like, dude, so what was the guy that everyone's looking at in here? I go, that's Phil Mickelson. I'm like, who's Phil Mickelson? Phil! Yeah, I'm like, Every time I see Phil, I yell Phil right, really loud. Right, I'm like, Phil Mickelson. Who's Phil Mickelson? And so I have a buddy of mine who's, who's a former pro, and his name's Dustin. And so I call him up, and I'm like, hey, I text him. I'm like, I just worked out. With a, a guy interrupted my workout named Phil Mickelson, and he went nuts. He went, Phil Mickelson's one of the best golfers in the entire world. He won this, this, this. I'm like, I don't, I don't Lucky care. Lucky lefty, bro. I don't care, yeah. And so, uh, and then all of a sudden, I called my dad, who's a big golfer. I said, hey, does Phil Mickelson ring a bell? And he's like, yes. And I'm like, uh, he just worked in with me at the gym. And so I was like, oh, my gosh, that's incredible. That's awesome. So, anyways, all that said, it's kind of interesting because, you know, I just don't know that much about. I golf. picture you golfing more like Charles Barkley. I probably do. If I've seen Charles Barkley, he's a big guy. Probably just supposed to hit the ball. My short game's in terror. My, actually, my my putting game is very good, but chipping and getting it on the green. If I don't hit it on there, the first two shots, it's horrible. My just, short game's terrible. Just picture Happy Gilmore. Mm-hmm. I'd like a Happy Gilmore stick. So, but back to the cigars. If you can't tell anything about the quality of the cigars, the burn is very, very good. The ash is white. I really enjoy that. It's just very consistent in its quality. It's one of the things that Davidoff has always added to any company they acquired. That This was actually uh, the old payback uh, by Matt Booth, Room 101, back in the day. Oh, really? Well, not Room 101. I think it was Room 101 back then. Uh, I think it was just called The Big Payback by Matt Booth. Okay. Um, so, I don't know if it was or not. Again, details I don't know about, really don't care about. Uh, all I know is that it's a great cigar at a great price. It's something that should be in your repertoire if you smoke cigars on the daily or on the nightly. When you get home from work, sit in the back porch and kind of relax a little bit, this will be one of the cigars that's affordable for an everyday smoke. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. It it kind of reminds me of like um, maybe some Fuentes, how they got those kind of lighter Cameroon Maduros, but okay. they still pack a lot of like sweetness in them. Okay. There's a lot of sweetness in this, but really? it's not... It's not a hard, like, thick... It's not like a thick, hefty sweetness. It's a very light, airy sweetness. Yeah, there's there's sweetness in this one as well. Um, Cocoa, man, again, very sweet milk chocolate. Yeah, this is more like a... Almost like it has a, a nutmeg or nutty sweetness to it. Uh, also, with, with some nice coffee notes on it, if you're pairing it with coffee like I am, you're really going to enjoy it. Kind of a nutty coffee uh, experience with this cigar in particular. What's your coffee look like? Hmm? What's your coffee look it's like? black. Just so I could be with, you know, it's more of a, it's more of a lot. What is it? Not a latte. It's called Nespresso. It's a Nespresso. It's a, it's a Nespresso. And I'll tell you what, man. Some, one of the things that people, for whatever reason, don't experience a lot of, why people don't experience a lot of flavor with their cigars is they, they, re, they either smoke them too fast or they are, uh, they're not, they're not retrohaling 
at all or correctly. So Retro Hand in a Cigar can actually be very enjoyable. And if you don't push all the smoke through your nasal cavity. You only, you only push about 25% through your nasal cavity because again, you have 21 sensory uh, taste receptors in your nasal cavity. That's why it's important to retro your cigar. So it looks a little something like this. You're gonna see most of the smoke blow out, but only about 25% come out my nasal cavity. And you could taste and like smell all the flavor in there. That's why we, you see cigar magazines and other cigar reviewers say, I, I get this off the cigar, I get this off the cigar. You really can't get much of that unless you retrohale your cigar. So we definitely want you to retrohale on these cigars and every cigar that you smoke so that you can actually enjoy and get the most out of your cigar game. Your taste buds change, what, they say like roughly every seven years? Seven years, yep. You know, your environment can vastly change the yep. way that cigar tastes. You know, like when mm -hmm. I was in Hawaii, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of stuff tastes a little bit saltier. It oh, just really? does. Mm -hmm. like, even, if they, like even a bag of chips like seemed a little saltier, you know? So We've had these many times before, but question is, have you had these cigars? If you've had the back-to-backs, drop a comment below and tell us your experience with back-to-backs by Davidoff. Because we want to hear what you guys think about that. And drop your comments below so that we can interact with you there. Final thoughts on that. Dude, it's a great smoke, man. Mm -hmm. If it if it didn't receive a 90-plus rating, it should have. Both these did. Both did got 90-plus ratings, yeah. Shows you what I know. Them, yeah, they really do. They both of them got 90-plus ratings. So, But you're the most important rater there. So for you and your experience, drop your comment below with the back-to-backs. And we're going to get out of here and get back to work. You can catch us on the podcast, Cut, Line, Smoke podcast, anywhere podcast or stream. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.